Hey, welcome back to Montevue. Today we're going to be doing episode three as part of our NVR series. This time we're going to be talking about our 16 channel NVR or the MNR 8160 16. So, NVR is going to stand for Network Video Recorder and it serves a lot of primary functions in most Montevue systems. Now, if you guys did go without an NVR with your cameras, you can operate them through a series of PoE switches, a router, and a computer. But if you guys have any more than three cameras in a single system, it's highly recommended to get an NVR. This is because it can be a painstaking and tedious process to log into each individual camera via a computer and their IP address. So the NVR consolidates all that and makes it much more efficient by having all of those cameras and all their aspects managed from a single interface, the NVR. In addition to that, it also provides extended recording times because each camera can be loaded with a micro SD card. But in general, that's going to get you two to three days of recording. Whereas the NVR can hold terabytes of storage, which equates to weeks or even months of recording time. So in addition to extended memory and managing your cameras from a single interface, the NVR is also going to be able to provide power as well as information transfer to those cameras. Simply by plugging a camera via an ethernet cable into the back of the NVR to a PoE port, that will simply be a plug and play situation where within five minutes that camera image should actually be produced on the NVR interface. So again, that is a single ethernet cable per camera and it's run completely through the NVR's PoE ports on the back. So taking a look at some specs for this NVR, uh, so it is a 16 channel NVR, which means that it can host 16 cameras or channels. Whether you are plugging them directly into the back using the PoE ports, or if you're bringing them in through the network on a PoE switch. Regardless of how you're bringing them into the system, you are capped at 16 channels or cameras. It has 160 megabits per second for processing power. This means that it can handle our 2K cameras at 30 frames per second or our 4K cameras at 15 frames per second. The 30 frames per second at 4K and the AI SMD features of some of our cameras use a lot of processing power and it's going to be a little bit too much for this one to handle. So again, that's 2K at 30 frames or 4K at 15 frames. One thing you guys might notice over the 4 and the 8 channel systems is that this one's a lot more sturdy and larger. It's also made out of metal. This means that it can take a little bit more intense locations and the temperatures it can go to is anywhere from 10 degrees Fahrenheit all the way to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. The trick here is that you have to choose a relatively dry location. These are pretty susceptible to any kind of moisture damage. So whether you're putting it in a shop, a basement, attic, or even your living room, just make sure it's a dry location and it's out of the way of any kind of moisture touching it. It also has 117 watts of output power. This means that you can plug in 16 cameras no problem to the back of this and it should be able to power every single one of them. Keep in mind if you guys do advance to a PTZ camera like our MTZ42 or 8250, those can take an exceptional amount of power up to 25 watts per camera. And so if you guys use multiple of those, keep in mind that you're going to need something like a PoE switch to sort of supplement that power. Uh, because this is only going to be able to handle, you know, maybe two or three of those along with other cameras. In contrast to the 4 and the 8 channel NVRs, the 16 channel NVR is actually going to come with two hard drive bays, which means that you guys can put up to 10 terabytes in each bay for a grand total of 20 terabytes. Now with 16 channels fully loaded onto this NVR running 24-7, that's actually going to eat up data very, very quickly. So having as much memory capacity as you could possibly get is going to only benefit you guys for this NVR. Now up next, we're actually gonna do a little unboxing for this 16 channel NVR, and we're gonna show you guys all of the components you can expect to receive if you purchase this directly from the Montevue website. So let's get into that. Okay, so starting this unboxing, we're gonna take a look at the accessory box first. So within the accessory box first, we're gonna see an HDMI cable. This plugs in your NVR to any monitor or television and can produce a 4K image for the display. After that, we have the power cable. This simply plugs into any standard wall outlet and will deliver power to your NVR. Next, we have our Cat5 Ethernet cable. Now, every camera you guys purchase will come with 100 feet of cable, so this one is just considered an extra. So you can either use this to plug in your NVR to a router, a switch, or more likely you'll just use it like a patch cable. 
Next, we're gonna see this USB mouse. It is used to control the interface of your NVR and you simply just have to plug it into one of the two USB ports located on your NVR. Finally, we have these three components. We have the blue SATA information cable. We have the multicolored hard drive power cable. And then we're gonna see this pink bag with all these little tiny screws in it. So these three components are actually used to connect your hard drive to your NVR internally. So if you guys did purchase a hard drive with your system, it's likely that most of these components will already be located inside the NVR, so you don't really have to worry about them. It's important to keep in mind you guys will want to stash this blue cable as well as any extra screws you guys have left over. Because this NVR has two hard drive bays, it's likely you guys only occupied one with a hard drive, leaving one still left over for any future upgrades. So in order to attach another hard drive to the system, you will need one of these blue SATA cables and the hard drive screws located in the pink bag. So keep those someplace safe in case you need them for the future. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at the NVR. Starting off with the back side, we're gonna take a look at the power port. This is where the power cable plugs in for power to the NVR. To the right of that, we're gonna see the on and off switch. Simply just flick this to kill power to your NVR or to engage it. Next, we have our 16 PoE ports. All of these are capable of delivering 25.5 watts of power, and these ports are all plug and play. All you've gotta do is simply connect the ethernet cable to the back of this and the other end to your camera, and it should pop up within a couple minutes on screen. It's important to keep in mind if you guys plug a camera into port five, it will automatically be designated to channel five. And same thing with channel seven, channel 12. They will all match the port in which they are plugged in. This next little green section here is our alarm port. Now, this is a very rarely used component of our NVRs, but if you guys have sensors associated with a Brinks or ADT-like system, you can actually plug in up to four sensors into this little module back here. That'll enable you to send alarm signals from those sensors to the NVR and set certain parameters associated with those. Again, 99% of our customers do not use these, so it's likely that you guys will never have to deal with this. Next, we have our VGA port. This is a display port capable of outputting up to 1080p resolution to any display with a matching input. Next, we have our HDMI. This is going to output up to 4K resolution to any HDMI display. Over here, we have our USB port. Now, this can either be used to plug in your mouse for control of the NVR interface, or you guys can plug in a USB flash drive in order to export footage directly from the NVR. Here we have our RS-232 port. Now this is again a very rarely used port. Typically you would plug in a third party PTZ controller or other types of similar hardware. Uh, again, you guys will likely never use this port, but it is important to know that is your RS-232 port. All right, next we have our network port. This is used to plug into a router or an extended network. Basically, you're going to have your green light, which is what indicate power coming through the network. And then you're going to see this yellow light either blink or it's steady, indicating that it has information transfer running through it. Again, you're going to connect this likely to a router. And what this does is it gives you network access or internet access for remote viewing. Finally, we have our mic in and mic out ports. Now, we did design Monteview Go for your phone to kind of handle all the microphone and speaker aspects of our system so that you guys can do two-way audio. However, these ports will allow you to plug in a speaker and a microphone directly to the NVR in order to engage in the two-way audio cameras or functions. All right guys, that is all the information I have for our 16 channel NVR. Again, that is the MNR8160-16. This is available in packages or as a standalone unit on our website, I will post a link in the description below. If you guys look at the packages, you may see it come across as MNR8163-16. That little three in there is just indicative of the three terabyte hard drive that comes with all of our packages. You guys can give us a call and we can upgrade that to a 10 terabyte or maybe even two 10 terabyte hard drives. So just give us a ring, we can do a custom package on that, no problem. If you guys have any questions on this NVR or any of our other products here at Monoview, go ahead and give our tech support a call. We are available Monday through Friday, and we're happy to answer any questions you guys have about anything. I always appreciate you guys liking and subscribing to our videos. It's a great way to get notified of our next ones coming out. We are gonna be focusing on the 16 channel pro series 
and the 32 Channel Pro series in our upcoming NVR series episodes. So stay tuned for that one. You guys have a great day and thank you for choosing Monoview.